Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy and I wanted to do a video on trusting the process and the unfolding of that process as well as releasing to receive. I took some notes on my phone so I'm going to be looking back and forth so I apologize in advance if I get a little bit distracted. I just wanted to make sure that I planned out what I wanted to say so that way I hit all of the points. I'm going to try to do this video in 10 minutes or less but we'll see. So um First, let me start off by saying that I feel that we all, all seven plus billion of us on this earth in this life experience have a purpose that was assigned to us before we even got here. And it is up to us to use the limited time and energy that we have to fulfill that purpose in life. There are many ways to find your purpose in life. An interesting diagram that I came across was the Ikigai, I-K-I-G-A-I. Um, and it's a Japanese concept, meaning a reason for being what you love, what the world needs, what you can be paid for and what you're good at. So those four things, what you love, what the world needs, what can you be paid for and what you are good at. Right. So that's a way for you to find your purpose when all of those things intersect in the middle of that diagram is your purpose in life or your ikigai. So I encourage you to take some time to find your ikigai or your purpose in life. I um, went the hard route of finding my purpose in life. There were, there were a series of traumatic events that fell on top of me at one time that forced me to pull the pieces together from a place of self-awareness. I did a lot, of, a lot of grounding and meditation and reflected on how all of my life circumstances connected to one another and what people needed from me, what I needed to grow from, what those life events or circumstances taught me. And they all pointed to one thing. And for me, I feel that that is um, helping people operate at their highest potential through self-awareness. And I feel that that is summed up by being a coach whether it's a life coach, goal coach, executive coach, just some form of a coach. I also know that my personality type as an INFJ aligns with that because I want to be of service to people and help the world be a better place. Our purpose is often is, in my opinion, always of service to people. It's never self-serving. And it is something that you pour into the world to help the world be a better place so that it's better than it was when you got here. And in order for us to fulfill that purpose, we have to be conditioned and ready for that purpose, which is why life brings about circumstances and people to help condition you for it. That's why it's really essential for you to be self-aware and to be conscious of the decisions and your actions that you're making. Um, the people that you're surrounded by at work, the circumstances that you find yourself in, your friends, your family, all of that is are lessons in disguise. So you really have to go inward um, and ground yourself in the present and meditate on what does all of this mean. For example, there was someone who I am working with or I used to work with that I should say um, that was really making some decisions that they were not benefiting from. And, you know, a lot of people do that, but of all the people that I interacted with, why did I connect with this person? Why did I emotionally or spiritually connect with this person? Why was I drawn to this person? Well, through helping, uh, you know, them assess and reflect on some of the decisions that they made, they were able to come to a conclusion that they were just operate, operating as a shell, excuse me. And, really needs to take the time to ground themselves in the present so that way they could make those decisions that are best for them. And of all of the different circumstances that I found myself in, that is one example of me being conditioned and ready for, readied for my purpose in life. That's confirmation that I'm on the right path. And again, because of that self-awareness, grounding myself into the present, I was able to identify that that person in my life or that person that I just happen to interact with in whatever setting, um, that circumstance that I'm in is not just so. It's not just for the sake of being. It's for the sake of pulling me towards my purpose in life. And we do that for each other. It's kind of like a give and take kind of thing. I could be 
um, somebody else's lesson or I could be what somebody else needs for them to see they are on the right path by whatever interaction that we have. So again, it's really important that you practice grounding and um, and meditation. So uh, I identify in corporate America that the closest thing to a coach is HR. And of course there are different functions of HR, but for right now I'll just stick with HR. So on my path to becoming an HR professional, I'm taking on an opportunity that will help me get into HR, which is causing me to move um, to big old Texas. So as a result of me moving, I am making the conscious choice to downsize. I feel that as an individual, one person with uh, no kids, no significant other at the moment, um, no roommate, that there is no need for me to have all of the things that I have. I live in a two bedroom, two and a half bath, a townhouse, 1,400 square feet. I don't need all of that. So a lot of materialistic things from my bedroom set to my dining room table to the other bed that I have to decorations, I'm giving away freely. My washing machine, dryer, literally I'm giving away a lot of stuff. I worked really hard for it, um, but I recognize at this point in time of my life that it's just taking up energy and space that could be used for me to fulfill my purpose in life. So I'm not gonna hang on to it. I gave away my, or gave back my car. So that's a less, um, less money for car payment, insurance, registration, car wash, all that kind of stuff, right? So what I'm telling life through my actions is that, hey, I get it. I want to put myself in a position where I am readily available to embrace what life brings to me because I don't have all of these materialistic things crowding my space and taking up energy and time. I'm telling life I'm ready and I'm going to take on whatever people or circumstances come to me. And because I free myself of materialistic things, I'm not as weighted down as I was or I am right now, right? So yeah, release. I'm releasing to receive whatever life brings to me. If I needed to make an investment in something, I can't do that necessarily because I have this car payment or I have this insurance or I'm in a more expensive living space than I need. So by me giving away all of these things and going into a smaller apartment, that's freeing up money that I can now use for investments in different things, right? And including myself, I could take trainings, I could take certifications, whatever necessary to help me be better at being a coach. So again, making conscious decisions to better myself for my life purpose. I feel that what's on the other end is well worth it. Um, uni the universe will see that I am, my intentions are pure and they are good. And by me honoring my purpose in life, life will grant me everything that I need in abundance. So there's no need for me to worry. Um, confirmation, little things like uh, my building number, the number seven. I see number seven all the time. One of the necklaces that I have is the number seven. Um, the apartment number is the same as one of my friends who I met on this journey in life. Um, the apartment complex that I'm moving to is owned by a, a property management company that has a an apartment that I used to stay in back in South Carolina. So it's like of all of the different property management companies, it's so weird. And I didn't even look at it, honestly. I didn't until I stumbled across it. Um, how could I pick the same property management company? There are thousands of property management companies um, in the US, right? Um, and then also the apartment that I, or the townhouse that I live in now, the portal that they use for residents is the same as the apartment complex that I'm going to. Not only that, but the process has been super smooth. You know, I'm, I was able to locate um, um, a moving service to help me load my pod that I'm gonna get as well, excuse me, as well as um, the same in Texas where I'm going. Uh, 
everything as far as uh, money is good, obviously, because I'm giving things away. I have more space and I'm not lacking for anything. So what I hope that you take away from this video is that you have to trust your process. You have to trust the unfolding of that process in order for you to get the end goal. And you have to release in order to receive the things that are necessary for you to be pulled towards your purpose in life and or to get that confirmation or validation that you're on the right track. Um, people and circumstances are used to help you um, be molded, readied, shaped for your purpose in life. And it is through self-awareness that you see those individual things and are able to um, embrace it and make conscious decisions for uh, for your or to your benefit. And again, all towards your life purpose. Um, I did it in less than 12 minutes. Didn't mean to take this long, but it's a lot of information. I hope to be able to look back on this video and say, oh, wow, yeah, I really was practicing what I was preaching. I'm not perfect by any means. I have made a lot of mistakes and I will continue to make mistakes because I am human. But I hope that this video helps you with reflecting inward and trusting your process and trusting the unfolding of the process that you're in and releasing to receive. Have a great day.